to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Grant me the grace to believe in you, O oh God. Someone open your mouth and pray. Grant me the grace to believe in you. Grant me the grace to believe in you. I shake away unbelief. I shake away unbelief. In the name of Jesus, grant me the grace to believe in you. Walk upon my faith. Walk upon my conviction. Grant me the grace to believe in you. That you are able. Someone pray for one minute. Grant me the grace to believe for my family to believe for my finances to believe for the work you have put in my hands grant me the grace to believe hallelujah one time the disciples could not cast out a demon spirit from an epileptic patient frustrated they came to Jesus and he said, why could we not cast this out? He said, because of your unbelief. You have not trained your capacity to believe God to rise. Listen, there are different levels of faith taught in the Bible. There is no faith. There is little or small faith. Is that true? There is great faith. There is exceeding great faith. These are various levels. And all of those levels command different dimensions of possibilities. Faith comes according to scripture. By hearing the hearing that brings understanding the more you open up yourself now respectfully speaking let us be careful the way we open up ourselves unnecessarily to antichrist information that continue to dampen our faith whether is the wrong use of social media you can sit down there and absorb all kinds of rubbish at the end of it your faith has deflated like the tire of a car and you now want to use it to command victories in the kingdom it doesn't work that way or you surround yourself with negative people who continue to say all kinds of things you leave the church with a prophetic word from your man of God and by the time you return you are already speaking like you are not saved no I guard my environment very jealously because the decisions that come out of my life affect millions of people around the world I have a responsibility to keep an atmosphere that is faith-filled, spirit-filled, and pro-destiny. I am very intentional about my atmosphere. Is someone learning? When Jesus entered to resurrect the little girl, he drove all the people who were laughing to scorn. Get out. There are things and people you need to send out of your life politely but firmly to give your environment the kind of atmosphere for the miraculous. Tomorrow, I have a session in the morning. Sadly, because of time, I know that many of you have come expecting prayers and impartation. Our time is up. But please, I want to encourage you, do not miss tomorrow. Hopefully, I will just give a charge and I'll have the opportunity to pray. Every time God puts an opportunity like this, a platform like this, among the many things that we receive is not only the revelation of the word and the building of our faith. We give the Holy Spirit room to be able to step in and to heal and to deliver. And then for someone to carry a grace that you have so longed and desired. Instructions are wonderful, but sometimes what we need are impartations that just activate our destinies for the next level. 
we have to pause for now but i want you to return home prayerfully and determine that in this conference i'm going to receive something from heaven and tomorrow morning that you come early i don't know what time it is tomorrow let me encourage you someone help me nine if i were you i'll come before that time and be praying in the spirit don't come and be gisting and eventually you start telling lies and found out you've even seen against god before the conference that when you come to an atmosphere like this you settle down and start praying lord as the word comes i i receive the the ears that hear the eyes that see and i expand my vessels for oil to come are we together I declare over your life standing upon the grace of the man of God the father and the angel over this house that in the name of Jesus the son of the living God every situation that has mocked God in your life brought pain to your life and made many to say you are Ichabod in the name of Jesus Christ let there be a mighty breakthrough for you now let there be a mighty breakthrough for you now I stand in partnership with the prophetic unction that is upon this house. For some of you, I literally prophesy over you by this time tomorrow. That tomorrow by the time you are returning, you will return with strange manifestations of possibilities. In the name of Jesus. Finally, I curse the spirit of unbelief. Every manifestation of unbelief eating up your conviction, marking your life down so that you are not able to make progress because of fear, because of doubt. In the name of Jesus, let unbelief live your life now. The Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. So please do well. Who have gone ahead of you, they went up and came down. Say unto God, how terrible art thou in your ways it says through the greatness of thy power listen even when it has to do with the ministry of prosperity you see it takes value and favor and all of those things to have resources but the bible says strong men retain wealth retaining wealth takes more than intellect it takes power Do you believe what you're hearing? Mama, if you do not access power, the devil will rubbish your children one by one. And children who should be prophets will become arm robbers, prostitutes and hooligans. Just because of the bankruptcy of power. You are a man, you are a father. And the devil is making nonsense out of your family. If you access power from heaven, one night when they are all sleeping, you wear your priestly and prophetic regalia and begin to walk around your house. Sanitize your spiritual climate. Say unto God, how terrible art thou in your ways through the greatness of thy power. hallelujah listen to me the bible talks about jesus the son of the living god number one jesus was and is the word as the word incarnate when he came to the earth even though being the word it was not enough for him to be successful in ministry number two jesus encountered three prophets in his life who spoke over him one simeon the prophet two anna the prophetess three john the baptist and even at that, it still was not enough for him to excel in ministry. Listen carefully. Jesus submitted himself to mentorship. From age 12, he was in the temple learning the ropes of the law. Still, it was not enough for him. The Bible says when John brought him out of water, listen, the heavens opened. Is that true? And the spirit descended upon him. Still, it was not enough for him to do ministry. He went to the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And your Bible says he returned in the power of the spirit. The power of the spirit. When he returned in the power of the spirit. Many signs. In one day his fame spread abroad. 
let me tell you ladies and gentlemen hear me you do not compel the attention of a generation by telling them stories they have heard many of the things you are saying the factor that compels is the power of God he said for where the carcasses are there the eagles will gather it is not the location of your church I don't believe that it is not the state you are located in I don't believe that is that there is no fire enough there is no power enough genuine apostolic and prophetic power it will draw men from the length and the breadth of the globe to come and see what God is doing listen to me for more than a decade with all due respect I was in Zaria for many of you who know Zaria that, that is that is that is the center of Islamic activities and people were coming from around the world even with kidnapping they would still endure from Lagos fly to Abuja take a golf and inconvenience themselves if they would kidnap me let them kidnap me but let me get there not the best of hotel facilities when people see genuine power they will endure anything I know you don't have AC yet I know you don't have this yet I know your sound system is not the best yet people will forgive you a thousand times if they can have the consolation of power Do you believe what I'm telling you? Don't do ministry without power. No, you will waste your time. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm about to pray for you. There is, there is a volcano that is tearing up in this place this morning. Because for someone, listen, it's time for that mandate and that mantle. You have been carrying it, but there is no power. That's why God kept prohibiting you from starting a church prohibiting you from traveling for ministration so that you don't embarrass yourself and bring reproach to the name of the Lord now hear me when I started ministry when God called me I started seeing a measure of the power of God in my life but I cried to God I said Lord this is not enough with the assignment you have shown me there needs to be a display of your power to the nations you are confronting people who are already familiar with spiritual activities some of them are herbalists themselves some of them are diviners themselves some of them are it, it is not new and I said Lord you must grant me access to this power I remember studying God's generals studying several people I remember studying the story of A.A. A. Allen who said he went to lock himself in the room and said I am not coming out he said oh God grant me genuine power from heaven and God gave him seven instructions that if he kept he would access power from heaven the disciples thought it was just by a sincere heart and they gathered around somebody who had a deaf and dumb spirit and they labored for nothing and could not heal that person when Jesus returned they said master why couldn't we do this the bankruptcy of power has made many genuine people look fake the bankruptcy of power has pushed many people with the purity of heart to the corridors of compromise because now you do not have the people who have been blessed by your life to support what you are doing so you will have to now start playing games and cutting corners to raise funds and all these kinds of things is this not a reed that has been forged out of fire can I tell you the Bible says he makes his angels wings and his ministers flames no matter how mad a man is that man does not enter fire by mistake even though he's mad when he gets to fire he knows the difference listen I came here this morning just to charge you on the supernatural I it will be a costly assumption 
to assume that everybody here is tired of that natural realm but I know there are people for sure who are saying Lord for the sake of my generation for the sake of the mandate upon my life you have called me as a financial apostle you have called me as a prophet to the nations you have called me as a Deborah you have called me as an Esther if you deny me access to power you have denied me access to that which sponsors the possibilities in my life listen to me according to scripture there are two ways to receive power two ways number one is by a direct encounter with the God of the Bible when people have a direct encounter with the God of the Bible among the many things they receive is power the second way which is a lot more generic is through impartation from vessels that have been empowered by God impartation is the system of the body for spiritual possibilities to be transferred from person to person he said the how did he put it now the Lord sent a word to Jacob and it lightened upon Israel Apostle Paul was speaking to the church in Philippi and he said ye all are partakers of my grace when a man has been so endowed by the spirit within the leadership the boundary of the leadership of the spirit you are at liberty to allow from that which you have received to flow freely to those who genuinely desire to receive even though there are rules of reception number one you must believe in the god that empowered that person number two you must believe in the person and the office of that man of god it's a he that receives a prophet in the name as touching that office you can receive a prophet in the name of your husband nothing will flow to you that's what the man of god was sharing here he said when he's in church help them please when you are in church he told his wife he said i am your pastor when we get home you are in charge that is family life you've heard me say I am a product of many anointings I can spend the whole day telling you stories upon stories moments of prophetic encounters in my life and it has not stopped till tomorrow I can tell you many graces in my life and where they came from the prophetic the miraculous the grace for influence wealth whatever it is these graces are not just for the benefit of the man of God the gifts of the Spirit is for us to profit with our hear me for someone you are here and you are sincerely called but I'm telling you prophetically the missing link is that you have not access power from on high and the days that are coming I'm telling you this I'm not a bearer of bad news but many pastors are going to have to be forced to close down their churches because people will say I love you I respect you I've been with you for 10 years faithfully my life has not changed as much as I love you I'm thinking about the destiny and the future of my children too I will have to leave that is the truth The reason why we seem to have the manifestation of superstar Christianity as I call it is because many people have refused to pay the price with the spirit to access power so the few people who have now contended and carried power they supposedly look like superstars Apostle Joshua Selman it is God's desire that as many they did not say for that promise is unto you and to your children when you do not press to access power you make those who carry to be at a risk because they become an endangered species when the devil strike them there are no alternatives in the body 
it is not God's desire to have just one or two people represented across. Now, there is an election of grace where there are people who are called by reason of God's predeterminate counsel. But let me tell you, the least among us can still be as mighty as David. In the next five minutes, there is going to be a mighty impartation. Listen, you can choose to spectate and watch others. Or you can cry to your maker and say, Lord, if this is the moment, let this be a destiny encounter. Someone lift up your voice and in the next one minute, I don't know how you are going to cry to God. Listen to me. I must tell you this before we begin this impartation. Whether you're on the ground, whether you're kneeling, just listen. Hear me. Can I tell you the purity of heart and the desire to glorify Jesus is the biggest attractor of the power of God. The purity of heart and the desire to glorify Jesus not a desire for fame not a desire for competition let me have it too so I can prophesy like the rest let me have it too so no one will mock me the agenda of God is bigger than self aggrandizement the purity of heart I repeat and the desire to see Jesus glorified he said nevertheless the foundation of the Lord standeth sure having this seal the Lord knoweth them that are his and let every man that named the name of Christ depart from iniquity it says but in a great house there are vessels of gold and silver of wood and clay some vessels are unto honor and some vessels are unto dishonor it says if a man will purge himself that man will be a vessel unto honor meet for the master's use I want you to pray one prayer Lord purify my heart purify my heart edit my motives take away the secret desire for competition the secret desire to outshine the secret desire to trample on others the secret desire to be the only celebrity carrying power Lord take it out of my life purify my motive someone pray Someone pray. Someone pray. Hallelujah. Now, the power of God is coming. I want you to start bringing the people outside. I'm just seeing angelic manifestations right now. And I'm about to speak. There is an opening of the gates. Please, whether you are an usher or not, I want you to just bring those under the anointing here now. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. I'm seeing the spirit of revelation, access to light, the mysteries of the kingdom. Where are they? Let it come upon you like the dew of Hamon. Take that grace. Take that grace. Take that grace. Receive that mantle. Take that grace. I release you. Call them please so they don't enjoy themselves. Receive that grace. I empower you by that mantle. The eyes that see. The ears that hear. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Fire upon your life. Let your eyes be washed with eyes out. That you may see. Shalagata bakata bakata praskata kash. 
I'm praying. Please, I want you to listen. Bring them out. There are people here. One of the end time mantles that is going to be restored to the church is authentic healing ministry. The healing ministry with power that heals. And I sense that there are people here. Some of you have been praying and fasting. Please bring them out. I stretch my hands. That mantle to heal. Take the healing power of Jesus to the nations. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. Men and women like Catherine Pullman. Men and women like every Samuel McPherson. We reignite that apostolic fire, that revival to heal the sick, to heal the sick, to heal the sick, to heal the sick. Hallelujah. Now hear me. This is a prophetic ministry. Your father is a prophet. And there are many of you who are connected to this vision. But that prophetic mantle has been hovering around you. But it has not landed in your life. I want to release that grace. I believe there are people here who will begin to walk in strange levels of the prophetic. Can I release that mantle upon you? Father, I don't know where they are in this crowd and watching. Everyone called into the prophetic office, the prophetic ministry. I stretch my hands right now. Receive that grace now. Take that Abba, kata, kato, shake it up. Take that grace now. Men and women, drink of the prophetic fountain. Help this lady, please. Drink of the prophetic fountain. Please help Ephraim. In the name of Jesus, I stir up that prophetic grace. I stir up that prophetic grace. Spring up all wells. Spring up all prophetic wells. Spring up all prophetic wells. In the name of Jesus Christ. Is like him, lion and the lamb, seated on the throne, mountains bow down, every ocean roll to the king of kings. We will praise our door. From the rising of the sun to the end of every day, praise Adonai. All the nations of the earth. Is there a name like Diolu? Diolu, is it Diolu or something? Who is Diolu? Come. What do you do, sir? You are a pastor. I want to pray for you because the Lord is saying the limitation you have seen in ministry that is about to take it away as a reproach. Take that reproach away. I pray for you, sir. I do not know you, but in the name of Jesus, may the hand of God rest upon you. Take that grace right now. A new season by the Spirit of the living God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Who is, um, I'm hearing my name. You're my namesake, Joshua.
please make sure you don't run less we have just a few minutes I'm, I'm working on extra time so make sure you don't tell lies just come and stand here you will receive bring the person who shouts right now a loud shout loud shout you are Joshua I want to pray for you what is your name my friend help this boy Huh? what's his name this gentleman your name is Joshua help this guy I declare that the yoke of witchcraft and I'm, as I'm praying for him I'm praying for someone everything that has tied your life and limited you from advancing every altar I don't know who I'm speaking to but I'm seeing fire help this guy please help him so he doesn't injure people I decree and declare right now in the name of Jesus be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now I set those altars on fire I set to help this guy I set those altars on fire hallelujah is there a name like Demola? Demola. You are wearing white. Demola. Is there someone like that? Demola. Who is that? What is your name? What do you do? I want to pray for you. Um, you, are, you are destined for greatness. But I'm seeing a serious limitation on your life. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. Be delivered right now. Be delivered right now be delivered right now help him be delivered right now there is a gentleman here you do uber is it uber or bolt who is that person i'm seeing somebody driving a car and the lord is saying i should pray for the person because there is an anointing that is coming you do uh, this um or what they call it now is there a gentleman like that who is that that's what you do no 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 i'm Please make sure, is, is that what you do? Because one of you, I'm seeing that you are going into real estate. God is going to bring somebody. It will start just by helping you. Somebody is saying, sell something. And yet, that's how God will help you and establish you in your destiny. I stretch my hands. May the grace that lifts and helps men rise, may that anointing come upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will go and prosper by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm seeing a lady here, your elder sister is yet to have a child. Your elder sister is yet to have a child. This is what the Lord is revealing to me. Who is that person? Please come. The season has come. Your elder sister, where is she? In United Kingdom. Is that where she is? Where is she? That's what I'm saying. The Lord is saying her, her time has come. In the name of, if she's following or she, wherever she is, in the name of Jesus, we agree. We don't care what the medical situation is. If the Lord has spoken, an anointing is coming upon you for our own sake. Receive that grace now. Receive that anointing right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I use as a point of contact that everyone trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Here at this convention, we decree and declare, may the God of all possibilities visit them. Hallelujah. Now, very quickly, I want you two things, two supernatural miracles you are trusting God for. We release our faith under this corporate anointing. Open your mouth and begin to make that demand. And watch the God of all possibilities. Two impossible situations. Go ahead and pray. You just obey instructions. In the name of Jesus Christ, someone is praying. What is that that has mocked God in your life? You're trusting God to overturn. Is it a financial situation? A marital situation? An academic situation? A health situation? We stand by the privilege of priesthood and the prophetic. 
releasing our faith with you make that petition unto God he said what thing soever ye desire when ye pray believe that thou receivest it and thou shalt have it he says to be anxious for nothing but that in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving he said let your request be made known unto God pray ask the God of all possibilities visit me in this area change my story in this area wipe my tears give me a testimony in the name of Jesus give me a testimony visit my father visit my mother visit my wife my husband my children visit my family visit my ministry my business pray one more minute you are praying in Jesus name we pray in Jesus name we pray I shared with you yesterday on the school of faith Ezekiel 37 he said son of man can these bones live again and he said only thou knowest and he said prophesy let me speak over your life the prophetic can be revelatory but the prophetic can be creative it can make what has no business happening to happen in the name of Jesus I stand in partnership with the grace upon the prophet of God in this house to declare over someone every door that has refused to open malice from this moment forward we declare that door open now shout a loud amen open now open now open now open now in the name of Jesus let me command restoration he said alas master for it was borrowed and he said where fell it there are many people who are in all kinds of situations in need of restoration by the power of the highest I speak to someone between now and the end of March I speak prophetically let there be supernatural restoration supernatural restoration supernatural restoration number three let me pray for you and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren but that was not his story the Bible says the mother cursed him as a result of her pain Jabez but he got to a point where he said oh that thou wouldest bless me and enlarge my coast I want to pray for someone whatever has limited you in the name that is above all names be enlarged right now be enlarged right now I prophesy increase expand to the north expand to the east expand to the south expand to the west in the name of Jesus A man called Job, who was once the richest man in the east. The Bible says that man went down from grace to grass until he became an object of mockery. But in Job chapter 42 and verse 10, the Bible says, And God turned again the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. And he said all his former acquaintances who had left him, they now began to return. And the Bible says everyone brought gifts and a piece of money. I declare whoever has left you, by reason of the tragedies that have come upon your life, I compel them to return with gifts. I compel them to return with favor. I compel them to return with favor. I compel them to return with favor. Two more impartations and we're done. Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21. And I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. And it shall come to pass that as ye go, ye shall not go empty. Let me declare, there is a grace for favor. It compels men and systems to walk towards your progress. Wherever you are, I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost, let the grace for favor rest on you. Let the grace of favor rest on your business, rest on your ministry, rest on your family. In the name of Jesus. 
finally I want to pray for you the Bible says and the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death I want to rebuke the ugly spirit of untimely death that is sweeping from nation to nation destroying great lives and great potentials I hope you know that death is beyond the phenomenon death is a spirit according to revelation the rider upon the pale horse holding a pair of balances on his hand and his name is death death is a spirit more than just a natural occurrence and that spirit like all other spirits can answer to the name of Jesus therefore I declare it says to deliver them who have been appointed unto death anyone here and any family that the devil is already programming that you will not see the end of 2023 anyone here that in the realm of the spirit it is almost like a done deal I declare in the name of Jesus and by the power that raised Christ from the dead the fullness of your days you will fulfill the fullness of your days you will fulfill you will not die not by the sword not by accident not by plane crash not by kidnapping not by the activity of wicked men the Lord preserves your going in the Lord preserves your coming out in the name of Jesus my final charge to you ladies and gentlemen before prophetic leaves is like an arrow I hope you know every word that comes from God moves like a messenger and it must return and tell him I finished what I've done that means if the word God said has not returned, it means he's still working. There is still moving around. Maybe he tried Abuja and it did not work. By now it's gotten to Portacot or to, to Kano. It does not matter where to fish help from. Four lepers. Because the prophet of God spoke. Hold on. Did you know that the guys who gave up their food always had it? Did you know that the lepers were always there what then was the difference the activator of that possibility was a prophetic four lepers sat down and they did not even know what started moving them they said why sit we here till we die why didn't they think about it two weeks before no the same way the helper of your destiny now says is a long time i called this man no he did not just think i'm telling you there is a spirit that moves upon men and begins to compel them lion of judah the lamb upon the throne we hail you most high you're the lion of judah the lamb upon the throne we hail you most high ladies and gentlemen hear me when god wants to show a man mercy these are the forces that god releases to your direction when god looks at your life and finds you lamenting and crying and say lord when will this door open get ready the force of light comes and I will give you pastors according to my heart Jeremiah chapter 3 and verse 15 the assignment of the pastoral ministry is to expose you to light that means if you don't come to church you are participating with your woe and your tragedy he said when I came into the house of the Lord then understood I there is a realm of understanding that resides within the corporate gathering of the saints they shall feed you with knowledge and understanding acts chapter 20 and verse 20 please give it to us what's the assignment of a good shepherd and how that i kept back nothing that was profitable unto you i showed you all things and i've taught you publicly that is the assignment listen pastors are light bearers they communicate light dimension after dimension line upon line precept upon precept then the force of prayer energized by the power of light you stretch in the spirit I was very humbled last year that this church went through for almost half that year 
I mean you can imagine the kind of stamina it would have taken even if you are playing not for six months something has to land upon you the spirit of prayer and supplication is transferable yes sir one of the ways that you receive is to be in company of them that have it are we together now yes the force of prayer and then the force of favor ah this one when it lands on your life it speaks immediately 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 i don't know who i'm speaking to immediately that the force of favor is able to come upon him and rewrite a new narrative over your life after circles of tragedy tragedy apostle i've been in abuja for many years i love the lord sincerely but this door has refused to open you need the force of favor in luke chapter 2 1 verse 52 the bible speaking about jesus your jesus luke 2 52 and jesus increased in wisdom is that in your bible in stature and even jesus himself needed to increase in favor with god and with men if jesus did not have favor and he sent someone to go to a place where the street divide and use a donkey you don't take that kind of risk until you ascertain that that grace is upon your life there are parts you do not dare if you are not sure of the manifestation of favor and then the force of the prophetic ladies and gentlemen we are products of the prophetic god has helped us to know him and to love him but i can tell you we have voices who told you prophecies are just mere words who told you there is no throne that backs the speakings of God's people just because there are jokers do not mix everybody and no there are men who have a covenant with God little children have you any catch John 21 he said none he said cast your net to the right side he was not could not catch fish they could not find there are times you need to move beyond you can be a skilled fisherman there are times you can have the right tools your net still you will not catch fish at that point you don't need fishing you need the prophetic word from god Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Feel this place Salaba Shalakosiata and all doors open and all doors open immediately all doors opened listen in the next five minutes i want you to give your destiny 
dedicated moments of serious prayer we are going to take some time to pray and that prayer you are going to engage with understanding there are certain doors it's time to rattle them to the foundation the prophetic is coming your way the release of favor is coming your way but for God's sake someone find a corner let your destiny know you mean business and I like you to begin to invest in prayer for the next five minutes is someone pray Someone is praying. Shaleka parakato safra gete belekosia. Sabrando skalebrados. Someone pray. Hallelujah. Play the strings for me. Hiya, hiya, ah, hey, 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 you will never be the same you've touched his grace your life will change you will never be the same you've touched his grace your life is changed you will never be the same you've touched his grace your life must change you will never be the same you've touched his grace your life must change 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 keep praying in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I want you to mention every door by name that needs and must be open in this conference financial doors doors of fruitfulness call it by name and declare the season has come that you must open lift your voice and begin to declare lift your voice doors of influence someone is praying doors of divine health doors to your next season someone pray someone pray pray Someone is praying. Be open. Be open. Be open. A 
Alléluia. many of you here the missing link is the grace for influence God has anointed you but you cannot reach those he has sent you to because Esther once you are in Shushan you cannot reach the king Joseph once you are in prison you cannot reach Herod Daniel once you are down you cannot be able to save Babylon there are mantles and ministries that require you to rise to a level of visibility where those you are sent to can hear you hear me there are some of you there are levels of resources you need to have access to because the people God is sending you to you will need resources as a leverage to compel their hearing that realm is the realm beyond buying and selling hmm. these are realms where you transact realities from the realm of the spirit in addition to whatever value it is that you provide please hear me tonight's teaching is very prophetic the next 10 20 minutes that we're getting into i like you to be sensitive to the things that i'll be sharing because i'm going to be speaking prophetically and i sense in my spirit that whilst you listen to me for many of you it will be as it were i think in Acts chapter 10 now and verse 44 or so that while Peter yet spake these things the Holy Ghost fell on them which heard his word I believe that for some of you right now there are destiny activations as I will be teaching right now hear me there are there are many things it is it is from the bowels of your spirit deep is calling on to deep Play the violin for me. Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus now please hear me for those who are following online 
you may need to call your loved ones or call a man of God or a prophet to tell him connect now the next 10 20 minutes there are very strange destiny impartations that will be happening to people and happening to ministries there are some of you who are following right now you may need to call your husband your wife and say leave what you are doing come and settle down i'm not even saying here people who are following some of you are following by way of television some of you are following it's time for the mandate to speak please sit down please sit down mm. I want to list for you the seven doctrinal pillars that make up this vision. There are seven doctrinal pillars that make up this vision you call koinonia. This is the jurisdiction of the mandate that have been given by God. I may not have all the time to just teach on them. I just want to list them and we'll pray. No eye has seen, no ear has heard. Someone in the media, I just saw the power of God. And I submit to your work in me till Christ be formed in me. No eye has seen, no ear has heard what God has prepared for me. Submit to your work in me till the Christ be formed in me, till your glory be formed in me, till your power rests on me. So I submit to your work in me till Christ be formed in me. Pillar number one. Please write if you can. If you're with the Holy Ghost, that's fine. You came up to us to come thus far and has given us the grace for global impact. Nothing remains small in your life. I declare rise in influence. I declare the anointing and the mantle and the mandate that is needed for the next season of your life. May it come upon you in Jesus' name. I place a mark upon you that everywhere you go from tonight be distinguished for favor be distinguished for honor hear me every gift and every mandate that God has placed upon your life that has not yet found expression I am powered by the Spirit to begin to find expression and for many of you here prophetically I open the doors and the gates of nations I open the doors and the gates of supernatural resources. I open the doors and the gates of helpers. In the name of... This is what I believe. And of the sons of Issachar. Now please lend me your attention and let's do some two or three minutes prayer and then we're done. The first prayer... It's a repetition of a prayer that you prayed earlier on. That God will grant you the grace to discern the prophetic seasons you are in and the seasons that are about to unfold for you. And then you may also want to add that the Lord will grant you access to the strategy. I repeat the strategy again for the season. Lord, what do I need to do? When the wise man came to Jesus, the rich young ruler, he said, good master, what do I need to do to be saved? He knew as a rich young ruler that there was always a strategy for victory. Lord, what is the strategy you are bringing for my victory? Please open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Begin to pray. One minute. Pray. 
the strategy that is allocated for my dominion in this season I obtain grace the strategy that is allocated for my dominion in this season I obtain grace hallelujah we are going to take the last prayer point and as always as a responsible apostolic and prophetic ministry we are going to pray for Nigeria I gave you a prophetic word last week and I told you you have handed over this nation to God I want you to relax if you don't trust yourself trust God are we together now we are going to pray for this nation we must raise our voices and decree and declare that in the name of Jesus the counsel of the Lord will stand and we are going to speak over the election that is coming and decree and declare there will be no bloodshed loss of lives and that God will arise in his power and see that his purposes are established upon our nation lift your voice and pray pray passionately and responsibly as a believer someone is praying passionately and responsibly your mercy speaks over our land in the name of Jesus Nigeria we decree and declare that you must be a manifestation of God's prophetic agenda in the name of Jesus the son of the living God we prophesy over the elections coming father we pray that you protect and preserve your people in the name of jesus let there be no bloodshed by the power of the holy ghost preserve your people by the power of the holy spirit and lord we pray for our dear nation let your purposes and your purposes alone stand let your purposes and your purposes alone be birthed in the name of jesus we thwart every plan and every counsel of the wicked in the name of jesus we pray for INEC. we pray for the law enforcement agencies and we pray in the name of jesus christ for the judiciary especially the supreme court lord grant grace by the power of the holy spirit your counsel for this land stands your counsel for nigeria stands your counsel for the 36 states stand your counsel for the six geopolitical zones stand in the name of jesus satan you have lost it over our nation you have no power to enforce any agenda of darkness it is the purpose of god for nigeria that stands in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ as we wrap up let me speak over your life i believe in the power of the prophetic I believe in its ability to program a climate of spiritual possibilities and it is the assignment of the prophetic and even priesthood to speak and declare over God's people it's important to receive the blessing with all your heart these are not mere speakings of a man's word it is as inspired by the Holy Spirit I want to speak over everyone here the arrows of bloodshed the arrows of bloodshed over you and over your loved ones we command it returns back to hell no one no one under the sound of my voice will be a victim of bloodshed number two everybody connected to you by physical descent or by responsibility for your sake I declare that they are supernaturally preserved in the name of Jesus I pray over your finances in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I cry by God that this night may help arise for you from his sanctuary may help arise for you from his sanctuary you will not beg in the name of Jesus God will use men God will use systems to make for your supplies number four I decree and declare 
that even in this season, hear me, Koinonia, nothing dies in your hand. Amen. Nothing dies in your hands. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. If there is anybody here appointed unto death, that there is any manifestation of a curse or any manipulation of the spirit of death that in the realm of the spirit they've concluded over you or your children whether through the elections or any other means i knock on the door of death and i command it to be far from you far from your habitation hallelujah every time there is famine every time there is economic and political turbulence one of the mysteries in the kingdom that preserves god god's people is favor can i speak over your life in the name of jesus the son of the living god you belong to a family that has been marvelously helped by god i pray experience favor i pray for you experience favor experience favor favor from the north favor from the south favor from the east favor from the west two more prayers i want to place a grace on you that causes those who need what you carry to look for you in the name of jesus whether it is an anointing or a gift a skill any kind of value that can make you to be of demand and to live a rewarded life i stir up that gift by the grace of god in the name of jesus christ let those who have an appreciation for what you carry i compel them to locate you i compel them to engage you and i compel them to reward you in the name of jesus christ Finally, let me pray for your spiritual life and your walk with God. At times of political, economic turbulence, we call them perilous times. Many believers, if they do not manage their, their faith process, they find out that their spiritual lives begin to decline, either because of laxity or discouragement. Anytime things look like it is not the way you want economically, politically and otherwise that is not the time to run away from the things of god it is a time to run closer for the bible declares that the name of the lord is a strong tower it says the righteous man runneth to it and he is saved let me pray for your prayer life let me pray for your word study life let me pray for your appetite for spiritual things it will not go down 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 in the name of jesus this week i release you a sign and a wonder i release you a savior i release you a witness i release you ambassadors of the kingdom in the name of jesus christ may no one despise the anointing and the mantle upon your life for in jesus name we pray Listen very carefully. There is a certain grace that if you do not have, you may fall prey to the tragedy of the man we call Mephibosheth. You see, Mephibosheth was not a bad man. He only was unfortunate with the midwife who helped him. Midwives are those who act as doors and take us from where we are to where we need to be. And if your midwife has not been prepared by God, Mephibosheth you can become crippled even though you will later find yourself in the palace but he will not give you the agency work Mephibosheth's tragedy was the product of the poor ministry of a midwife I don't know the midwife who has been sent in this year of open doors it is your responsibility to access the grace that straightens them the ministry of a midwife is very delicate you can lose your mobility for life because of the carelessness of a midwife. The name of the midwife that crippled Mephibosheth was not mentioned. But we know that a man who had a great destiny became crippled. I don't know what prayer Mephibosheth prayed. But one day when the grace for favor was going to locate him. 
David said is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show kindness for Jonathan's sake and they brought a man called Ziba and the Bible says he had 15 sons and they sent him to a place called Lodeba to go and fetch this crippled man called Mephibosheth brought him to the palace and the king said Ziba your children will farm for this man but as for him you will remain in the palace what a pleasant manifestation of favor yet he never walked till he died listen to me there are men and women who have been called by God Joseph you have the ability to interpret dreams but if the wine presser is careless he can add two years to your stay in the prison the carelessness of one man memory loss to not announce you before your destiny helper a man's stay was prolonged by two years because someone forgot no wonder there is a mystery in the spirit called the book of remembrance the bible says that night could not a hazard or sleep and he said bring me the chronicles and when they opened it he saw that mordecai had saved the life of the king but he had not been rewarded I don't know who there are people here you have been part of the rising of many God has used you to open the way for many but you have been forgotten tonight prophetically may God open the book of remembrance in the name of Jesus the son of the living God let the book of remembrance I say be open be open over you in the name of Jesus Christ for the sake of time let me speak over your life King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, I worship you. King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, I worship you. Oh, speak from the heavens and the earth will hear. Oh, speak from the throne and I'll hear from the earth. Oh, speak from the heavens and the earth will hear. For my altar is calling you, oh God. My worship is calling you, oh God. My sacrifice is calling you, oh God. Take my praise, oh God. Take my praise. Let the fire from your altar touch my body. Let the fire from your altar touch my body. Let the fire from your altar touch my body. Let the fire from your altar touch my body. For as many who are tired of certain realms, you have told yourself it's time to go forward. He said, ye have compassed this mountain long enough. I'm standing in faith with the grace upon the man of God and I want to speak and declare the opening of certain doors I want you to believe it you will be surprised you will marvel and wonder at what begins to happen to you listen this that you see is an election of grace 
is the mercy of God. But once he grants that grace, it is for the profiting of the body. There are people here, I believe that God sent us in this conference and burdened his servant to make for this convergence because someone you have prayed and you have fasted, you have said there has to be a way. Lord, let my life glorify you. Let something about the opening of doors. Even for Lazarus, his grave was opened again. It is never too late as far as the opening of doors is concerned. The Bible says in one synoptic account that on that glorious morning, an angel came from heaven and rolled away the stone and sat on it, ready for his majesty to come out. So in, in declaring open doors, it is also a declaration of resurrection. Because there are times that because of how long the door had been closed, whatever was inside would have died. He said, after three days, by now he stinketh. There is no point opening the door. The help you are looking for, the time has gone. It has died already. When we declare open doors, we also declare resurrection. Because even if you roll away the stone, Lazarus is already dead. There are times you need to roll away the stone and then make declarations and say, Lazarus, like he spoke to the 12-year-old girl, Talita Kumi, little girl, I say unto you, arise. Can I pray for you? I want to release a grace for speed. This is the first grace that I sense in my spirit. And we're going to do a quick walk. Just let me five minutes. There are people here who must carry that grace bodily. I told you that life and destiny is time dependent. Some of you, the truth is that time has already gone against you. Uh, this is not negative confession. Time has gone against you. I'm about to pray. Please, those that the power of God comes upon, I want you to bring them out very quickly. Let's make this fast so in about five minutes we are done. It's an impartation of the grace for speed. And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he ran, the Bible says, and overtook the chariots of Ahab, even down to Israel. I stretch my hand. I'm seeing many people, but particularly there is a gentleman that I'm seeing in my vision. And this one has been an age-long stagnation. Right now, I'm just seeing fire coming on that person please when i pray whether you are an usher or not do well to help those under the anointing to come so that we'll make it very very fast father in the name of jesus i release that grace right now receive that grace for speed receive that grace for speed receive that receive that grace for speed, that for speed. In the name of Jesus Christ, there are many people, but there is a gentleman that I'm seeing. I, I just saw light and fire. I saw the image of a gentleman. That anointing is coming on a gentleman. You need to move. Please bring them to the front very quickly. In the name of Jesus, I pray over that gentleman wherever you are. By the power of God, may that grace rest upon you. I command speed upon your life. Speed upon your life. Help them speed upon your life in the name of jesus christ now hear me i'm seeing a vision right now and i just saw like a scroll pastor i just saw part of it one side of it just opened i told you about the book of remembrance i have seen this in my visions ultimately we believe it because it's written in scripture i'm seeing the number four there are people here right now that grace is coming on you and people who have forgotten you things you have done that may not even be remembered i stretch my hands i don't know who that grace needs to come upon receive that anointing right now let the book of remembrance be open the fourth church let the book of remembrance be open let it be open right now let it be open right now in the name of jesus christ let that grace be open let that let that book be open please bring them quickly let's save time in the name that is above all names i'm seeing the hands of two people burning and the lord is telling me that your hand is a symbol of your productivity and it looks like your hand has been tied you know that's what happened to samson 
way before his eyes were bound the devil tried his hands before he tried his eyes i don't know who that is but god is about to lose your hands right now in the name of jesus may that fire from the throne right now let it rest upon your hands 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 in the name of jesus christ in a shena so get a sukra gaveni kusiata la bregeti baratos kadiatash i'm doing an impartation but i'm seeing that the lord is touching someone's mother this is someone's mother i'm seeing the power of god come upon you this is the power of witchcraft that has brought mama to a state of ill health i don't know who that person is but the lord is revealing to me that he is bringing life he's bringing healing to your mother i stretch my hands towards you right now may that anointing rest upon you let that anointing rest upon you let that anointing rest upon you in the name of jesus christ do you believe in the favor of god please do please do please do bring for me the lady right now i'm seeing a lady the power of god is coming upon her right now as i'm speaking i just mentioned favor and i just saw light just leave me and rest on a lady i'm going to pray for everybody but i just saw that grace because it's a new season a very strange manifestation of the spirit of favor is like a mantle a cloak from heaven that is going to rest upon you and you will start finding out that people you you may not even begin to describe the things that start happening to you please bring that it's a lady one person and then i'll pray and speak over everyone in the name that is above all names may that grace that 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 engracing for favor let it rest upon you now i want to speak over everyone please bring them ah my head you have exalted like the horn of a unicorn and i am anointed with fresh oil my head you have exalted like the horn of a unicorn i am anointed with fresh oil i am anointed with fresh oil in the name of jesus christ the grace that makes for favor compelling men i'm this one is really coming on many people the grace for favor that compels men and compels systems to respond to you favorably in the name of jesus christ receive that grace right now 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 right where you are receive that grace right now from today begin to walk in favor supernatural dimensions of favor I declare over you in the name of Jesus and hear me every force of witchcraft that has attempted to tie anyone's life down and commanded closed doors so that these doors would not open you have stand you, you you've stood in front of those doors and yet they have refused to open I speak to those doors now by the power of the prophetic every ancient door in the name of Jesus, Ephata, be open. Ephata, be open. I command that the doors pass hither and thither. In the name of Jesus Christ, financial doors be open now. Doors of fruitfulness be open now. Doors of new dimensions. You're a man of God here. New prophetic dimensions, new apostolic dimensions. I open those doors in the name of Jesus. Hear me. And for everything that has died or is dying in your life, Jesus said, Roll away the stone. 
the opening of that door meant the possibility for resurrection therefore i declare everything that has died hear ye the word of the lord let it come back to life now dead dreams and visions come back to life now dead relationships come back to life now dead opportunities come back to life now hear me god is a restorer there are two systems of advantage that help the saints to manifest dominion over destiny and time number one is restoration number two is speed these are the forces that have been allocated to help men gain time when time is against you these are the forces that are released in the spirit the force of restoration and the force of speed i want to declare restoration because you see you can receive restoration of time and i will restore the years and you can restore things in the name of jesus christ everything that has left your life that should not have left i stand joining faith with the man of god the angel over this house i command between now and the end of march in the name of jesus let there be a sudden restoration sudden restoration sudden restoration hallelujah for all of you who are out here in the name that is above all names these engracings that you have received i prophesy upon you that they begin to speak immediately in the mighty and matchless name of jesus now listen let me lend my voice finally with the man of god and speak over the fourth church ezra chapter 6 and verse 14 Ezra chapter 6 and verse 14 and the elders of the Jews built it and the Bible says watch this it says they prospered through the prophesying of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo they built it but their prosperity dependent on the speakings of two prophets Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the prophet and the Bible says they built it and they finished it it's one thing to desire to start building it takes more than architectural prowess to build and finish the hand of Zerubbabel can begin but it takes another set of spiritual dynamics to have it completed and the Bible here says that when men build and prosper and finish is because while they are building there is the mysterious prophesying of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo I know that before this conference is ended the man of God will be speaking over your life but let me lend my voice as the second one by grace to make declarations over everyone but particularly the fourth church everything that is alive shows that is alive by growing therefore in the name of Jesus Christ the fourth church i stand by the prophetic and measure a thousand cubits and i declare rise to a new level rise to a new level rise to a new level in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare the bible says and it was noised abroad that jesus was in town the angels that herald the relevance of men wherever they are within abuja and across this nation i decree and declare that all those who have been apportioned to stand by the man of god financially and otherwise to see that the work progresses unhindered we compel them by the power of prophecy in the name of jesus they appear in this season the Bible says, and I will multiply them, they will not be few. That I will glorify them, they will not be small. I declare upon the church as a corporate people, in the name of Jesus, may the glory of God rest upon you. May the glory of God rest upon you. May the glory of God rest upon you. The sound of mourning, the sound of death, may it not be heard among God's people. In the name of Jesus. He said remember ye not the former things nor consider the things of old for behold i do a new thing i prophesy unto you be prepared for the new be prepared for the new even as by the spirit of god let me speak over your finances you see what is happening economically around and it's important 
the prophetic is also connected to dimensions of prosperity it is true that when you believe the Lord your God you are established and that when you believe his prophets you prosper in the name of Jesus I call upon the God of Jeshurun please no distraction I want you to cry out your destiny before your maker in the name of Jesus present that rod in your hand to God go ahead is it your music ministry is it your business what is the rod you want God to anoint tonight that with it you will use to schedule a season of financial rewards rewards in terms of influence and visibility cry before God Lord I may not have much but here is my heart my mind my everything take it it's yours alone go ahead and pray Lord I hand over this prophetic ministry I may not have much but this is the grace you have given me Lord you have given me extraordinary intelligence Lord you have given me beauty and physical appearance Lord you have given me nobility of stature like Saul someone pray Lord you have given me the teaching ability you have made me a phenomenal teacher you have made me an artist a sportsman a career person come on someone lift up your voice and pray I hand it over to you that rod you have given me you've given me the grace for entrepreneurship my passion cannot be wasted you've given me a heart for children you've called me into the healing ministry You've called me into the prophetic ministry. Someone pray, someone pray, someone pray. Your value, the reward system of the kingdom works with your value, your skill, your ability. Obtain grace to refine it. Obtain grace to discover. Obtain grace to refine. The nations are waiting to be used by God to reward you. Ali, Ali, yo. Ali, yo. Ali, yo. Ali, Ali, yo. Oh, oh, oh. Ali, Ali, yo. Ali, yo. are falling here tonight anointings are falling here tonight graces are falling here tonight for the kings to arise for the kings to be born for the kings to arise for revival to be born Someone pray. Father, it's time for the nations to drink of the grace you have placed upon my life. It's time for the nations to partake of my business acumen, of the prophetic grace, of the ministerial grace, the teaching mantle.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please hear me. I'm about to pray now. Listen carefully. When I was teaching you on finances, and we have another series that I want you to really pay attention to when it's time, I taught you that our rewards in life, as I have learned, will always be in exact ratio to three things. Number one, the need or the demand for what you do. Number two, your ability or proficiency in doing what you do. And number three, the difficulty in replacing you. In business, we call it the law of compensation. This is what guides the reward system. That every time you become so valuable that kings can look for you, nobles can look for you, nations can look for you, placing a demand upon the grace of God in, on your life, whether in with respect to business endeavors or your professional life or ministry. Make up your mind to not be a mediocre. Go back home after this sermon and don't just rejoice that you came to church and heard a powerful sermon. Go back and discipline yourself. Prune out every kind of laziness and laxity from your life. And obtain grace and be determined tonight under God. That you will not rest until your value gets to the throne. Serving kings and nobles. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6. For without faith it is impossible to please him the Bible says. For he that cometh to God must come believing that he exists and then that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. God rewards. We serve him because we love him and forever this will be the highest motivation. Our love for Jesus, our desire to see his glory revealed and the privilege he's given us to be a blessing to the nations. But in addition to that, do not think it evil to position yourself to live a rewarded life. Financial reward, psychological rewards like honor, prestige, influence. These are all rewards. Rewards are not just money. Money is only one of the many channels. Influence. When people give you the gift of trust, loyalty, the capacity to influence them by reason of the effective deployment that's what Miles Munro taught me. That leadership is not about leading people. Leadership is about excelling in your gift. Serving people with your gift with such excellence that you get a reward of loyalty back from the people by reason of the effective deployment of your gift, not lording over people. Leadership is about serving people with your gift. Your service becomes so exceptional that you receive as a reward the gift of loyalty. I'm about to pray for you. We are not inventors of this grace. We are only recipients, graceful recipients of this grace. To someone here tonight who has labored in the spirit, fasting in silence. To someone here who has labored in the spirit, praying and traveling turning days to weeks and weeks to months and months to years for someone here who has served served from church to church from man of God to man of God serving graces and may have never been rewarded physically for someone here you have spent time to educate your mind in training consultations paid the price to go within and outside this nation to build intellectual capacity to someone here, you have submitted yourself methodically to mentorship. 
you have done your due diligence for someone you have taken extra courses you have stretched yourself to the border now you are the corridors of influence it's time for this grace to come upon you let me speak upon your life father in the name of jesus you have anointed me to be an extension of your possibilities to your people i stretch my hands oh god as you have led me to teach your people tonight they have learned the principles that control the reward system of the kingdom many have invested in their gifts their potentials their abilities they've paid the price to laboriously refine themselves and in truth they are in a position right now where they can serve regions and nations therefore i stretch my hands as many who are in that position let the anointing that was designed to connect with your gift at the count of three Marques Koteba. one get ready two my goodness three take that anointing now take that anointing now take that anointing now take that anointing by the power of the holy ghost receive that engracing that comes upon your gift receive that engracing upon your teaching ministry upon your business upon your professional life upon whatever it is that you do receive it in the name of jesus i decree and declare by this anointing find visibility by this anointing find visibility i connect you by the mystery of this anointing connect to your financial helpers by this anointing connect to your endorsers hear me everybody who has the leverage of credibility that can lift you and announce you whether in ministry in business in career i stretch my hands this week connect with them by faith for a man of god may god bring you an invitation that opens up the next season of your ministry for someone may god bring a sponsor that will overwrite your budget and give you the concentration to walk. For a professional here, in the name of Jesus, I program institutions to call for your, your value, not just individuals. I'm saying it uh, prophetically. I call for institutions, not just individuals, to place value on what you carry. hear me there are people who here who are ready and are prepared but the negative speakings of others is what has stopped your helpers from coming every wrong statement that has been said about you that is stopping your helpers and those who can be used by god to reward you from reaching you i cancel that statement now By this prophetic decree and this impartation, every dead vision, dead business, dead ministry, dead destiny, hear the word of the Lord, jack back to life now. A gentleman invented a drone I think he should be he'll be somewhere here in the congregation and he built he builds all kinds of electronic gadgets and he built something so phenomenal I remember when he came and showed me I looked at it and I said this is this is incredible and I prayed a simple prayer for him may God connect you to people who have the interest and the resources to invest in your vision and your value and the rest is history how God just opened the door and connected him to one person willing to invest millions of dollars into that project. It is not difficult, not when the prophetic directs them. I declare again by prophecy, anybody who needs to be directed to your path to invest in your dream, invest in your church, 
invest in your vision invest in the quality of your life for the sake of your assignment and your mandate i declare by prophecy may they be directed so i also release upon you the grace for non-stop continuous development non-stop pursuit of god non-stop pursuit of capacity building both in the spirit and intellectually and in the name of jesus that local champion mentality that mentality of endorsing yourself among mediocres by the privilege of god's grace and for the sake of the greater that is bringing to your life get out of that mentality now The spirit of unhealthy comparison, wrong sense of competition that drives people into early arrival mentality or frustrates them and deflates their passion to go forward. I declare that that wrong mentality leaves your mind now. <laughs> Hear me. I challenge you, some of you, when you go back home, sit down as husband and wife, sit down as father and daughter, sit down as mother and son or daughter and discuss this teaching take it as a challenge and start doing something no matter how you fall and fly under the anointing it will be a total waste if you don't take responsibility and sit down for some of you as you return back home is to have a little nap eat refresh rest and get up and start writing covenant daily tasks that improve yourself i must watch two videos as touching this my music ability or this my my uh, tailoring I'm tired of sewing clothes for mediocres who will keep owing me and insult me I, I need to serve those who have the, um, the who don't ask how much again and I must work on myself go for training build yourself while praying in tongues Lord I received an anointing I will not waste this investment you keep expanding yourself that's what you need to do Come, come to Jesus. Come, come to Jesus. Young and old, educated and uneducated, rich, poor, and everything in between. Come, salvation is for all men. Neither is there salvation in any other name. There is no other name given unto men under heaven by which we must be saved. Now listen to me. I really salute all of you who have made this bold, taken this bold step to come. The next thing I would ask you to do is to mean every confession and every word. Are we together now? Yes. Some of you are crying. There's nothing to be ashamed and afraid of. For our God is champion forevermore. as high as it can get this is unto Jesus the son the king the savior Lord and even Christ say this after me as loud as you can say Lord Jesus tonight I declare that I believe in you I declare that you are my savior I declare that you are my Lord I declare that you are my king. I believe with my heart that you died for my sin. 
and I confess with my mouth that you rose from the grave even for me right now I declare that the power of sin Satan hell and the grave is broken say it again is broken I declare that from tonight I am a child of God I am a bona fide recipient of eternal life amen keep your hands lifted father the bible declares that as many who will come to you that you will in no wise cast away you have brought this many to you the bible says i believe in the gospel it calls it the power of god unto salvation and in the name of jesus i declare over you according to the integrity of scripture i declare your sins forgiven and i call you bona fide recipients of the life of god the power of sin satan hell and the grave it is destroyed from this moment in the name of jesus christ and here is my prophecy for you from tonight the sun will no more give you sunlight by day the moon will no more give you moonlight by night jehovah will be your everlasting light he'll be your glory your strength and your sight the light of the moon will be like the light of the sun and the light of the sun will shine seven times as bright when yahweh binds up the wounds of this world he heals all the bruises inflicted by this world hallelujah. hallelujah thank you very much for making this bold declaration now there are counselors if you're here in front there are counselors just by my right which will be your left from where you are i want you to please in concert and very politely just follow them they will have a word with you very quickly and then you will join us as we continue in the course of the service let's give them a big god bless you as they go koinonia is this the best you can do for salvation what a harvest tonight unto jesus be all the glory keep clapping until they leave Keep clapping until they leave. No eye has seen, no ear has heard what God has prepared for me. So I submit to your work in me till the Christ be formed. No eye has seen, say. No eye has seen, no ear has heard. very powerful song it's broken in two is halal yeshua praise the lord the bible says praise ye the lord to praise him in the firmament of his power every time you halal yeshua you will cause and compel according to scripture it says let god arise the king rises with a shout he says the shout of a king is in the midst of them so the word hallelujah is not just a christian chant it is halal yeshua do you know what me it means to praise to praise means to extol to flaunt the quality of a man that means when you say you are great you are brilliant it's like reading out the credential of that man and the moment you begin to do that you compel him to reproduce that thing again so in saying hallelujah 
is a prophetic chant that means anything good about God hallelujah suffices to say you are great hallelujah suffices to say you are the warrior hallelujah suffices to say you are the lion of the tribe of Judah everything that makes him God is captured in that word halal Yeshua we're going to shout it seven times and very quickly I want you to please bring those under the anointing I truly believe like it was in Jericho a city that was shot nothing went in nothing went out at the seventh time there was a shout and the Bible says the wall of Jericho it went down and it sank for someone at the end of this shout you will look and not find the things that that have stood as mountains for you again are you ready now I will call the number and you will shout hallelujah one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, are you ready now? Seven. Every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken You wear the victor's crown You overcome has tied everyone here by the power that raised Christ from the dead be loose now be loose now be loose now I lose every chain I lose every chain ancestral chains chains of darkness chains of limitation I command be loose right now in the name of Jesus Christ I'm declaring because that's what I saw in the spirit chains I'm still saying it again I don't know what has tied your hands a symbol of your productivity your feet a symbol of your motion but in the name of Jesus by the power that raised Christ from the dead that chain be broken right now that chain be broken right now be broken right now be broken right now, be broken right now be broken right now hallelujah listen every time your hands are bound and your feet is bound even though you have eyes you have a mind to think you will not be able to make progress I'm about to pray again the binding of your hand and your feet is a prophetic statement because there are some of you you've been unable to move forward some of you have been unable to be productive I pray right now I don't know who I'm speaking to but I speak as one sent of God every spirit that has tied you everything that has bound you release them now release them now release them now release them now, release them now. in the name of Jesus I declare be released right now be released right now and every family that has been bound you came here bound not understanding what is the mystery behind the hardship and the occurrences in your family in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I declare you are released this moment you are released this moment you are released this moment 
Shalis Kafredi Masamatos Kaliga Barantos Kia. You are released this moment. The Lord is asking me to break covenants. A covenant is a legal agreement that binds people and binds territories and binds families when it has to do with dominion over covenants that is the ministry of the blood the blood that speaketh better things than the blood of Abel can I pray for you in the name of Jesus any family here and any individual who is under covenants of ancestry covenants that lead to poverty covenants that bind people at the count of three I want you to shout Jesus that fire will come upon you and that covenant must be broken are you ready one two three shout Jesus be free by the blood of Jesus help them please be free my God be free be free be free be free be free from every covenant, every ordinance, every covenant. I say it again, be free. Covenants are powerful. They can tie men and tie destinies. Please bring them out. Demonic covenants, holding people down. Listen whether you come from the north i'm still praying whether you come from the south can i tell you every territory has covenants regardless the territory i'm prophesying to you right now every territory that is connected to the soil of where you come from the apparacos that has tied down your life in the name of jesus christ by the blood of the eternal covenant let that covenant be broken now be broken now be broken now hear me I have taught you here how do you know the presence of a covenant the presence of a covenant is tested by the existence of patterns the existence of patterns it is happening to your brother it is happening to your sister it is happening to your father the moment you see a repetition of patterns I'm praying for someone again everything you have seen maybe with your father your mother it is now happening to you lack of progress lack of jobs barrenness unfruitfulness I declare let it break now 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 every covenant that is not of God I like you to shout this after me say in the name of Jesus I decree and declare by the blood of the eternal covenant every covenant tying my life tying my family by the blood it is broken now open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus Christ oh it is broken Thus far have you come, no further shall you go. In the name of Jesus, broken by the blood of the eternal covenant, every negative covenant, covenants of disfavor, covenants of unfruitfulness, covenants of retrogression, it is broken. Someone pray. Open your mouth and pray in one minute. Spirits of ancestry, demonic manifestations in dreams. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Now hear me, I want to take the time to pray for the sick, but can I tell you this? I said it, I don't know if it was last year or this year, that I saw an onslaught 
of sickness that God wants to restore the healing anointing again. And I'm going to do an impartation of that in the course of the service. But listen, whether you are sick or not, you are going to pray. And in this prayer, you are going to announce to the realm of the spirit that this body is touched not. Listen, I was having a discussion with our medical people whilst visiting them, I think it was uh, day before yesterday, and we're just having discussions and you cannot imagine how many healthy people, someone for instance can be AA, and all of a sudden maybe preparing for marriage, they can go for test and you will see another report and wonder where it came from. Can I tell you, if you keep quiet over your body, the devil will cut short your life. Someone shout it, say in the name of Jesus. I declare that this body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. I declare that this body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Every planting of sickness and infirmity leave now. Open your mouth and pray. Every planting of infirmity, every sickness, go ahead and pray. That devil must leave your body now. Pray that cancer out. Pray that HIV out by the power of the Holy Ghost. Pray that arthritis out. Pray that blood disease out in the name of Jesus. Oh, I will not die. I curse that devil in the name of Jesus Christ. That blood infection, you leave this body. Migraines, you leave this body. Hepatitis, you leave this body. Someone is praying. Rheumatoid arthritis, tumors, growths. We curse you by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. 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 Do you know, no matter how, no matter how medically conscious you are, there are many people who carry all kinds of sicknesses and diseases and do not even know. And then some of them are not a medical situation. So you go and use your machines to do all your diagnosis and it shows that you are perfectly fine. Yet the patient is telling you, I know that there is something wrong. We are going to pray one more time before I begin to pray for the sick. I don't know about you, but the fullness of my days I will spend and no devil of darkness. I don't care whether they say it's hereditary. It came from your father, your mother. Open your mouth and cast it out of your life. Ladies, pray. Gentlemen, pray. No cancer. No prostrate. Open your mouth and pray. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. It will not come not by age, not because you are giving birth no reject it in the name of jesus health is my portion in the name of jesus health is my portion the fullness of my days i fulfill Hallelujah. 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 I still want to pray. Now I want you to bring this set of people out to join these ones. I'm going to pray. The Lord is showing me something. I just saw written bad luck. You know what bad luck is? We call it bad luck. But in the kingdom, it is disfavor. But I saw the name bad luck. There are many people, it works for others until it gets to your turn. And mysteriously, I want to rebuke that spirit. Believe me, there is a spirit behind the circles of disfavor. It looks like things don't just work in your life. 
and I saw the power of God coming on many people I decree and declare right now if there is anybody some of you are standing in for the sake of your families any family here that is wept in this orchestration of disfavor we call it bad luck at the count of three let that fire rest upon you and let deliverance come upon you one two three be delivered now I cause that spirit be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now that wicked spirit let it leave you now and even your families by the power of the Holy Ghost hallelujah you see as we sojourn in life as we sojourn in life I have taught you and I will teach you again and again the forces that are at work in your life negatively or positively that is what controls the outcomes that are in your life if you carry for instance the force of favor imagine the kinds of physical things that will happen to you and then if you carry this kind of wicked forces of disfavor imagine what happens to you it is not the physical occurrences they are only responding to something in the realm of the spirit that is upon you or around you negatively or positively hallelujah negatively or positively I'm saying it again bad luck that spirit that has followed anyone here and is following anyone online there are even people abroad you may think it's supposed to be an edge and an advantage but these same forces have followed them and rubbish their life and their dignity of living in the name of Jesus the son of the living God be set free now be set free now be set free now hallelujah be set free now the Lord is showing me a family what I see in my vision I'm seeing five of you nobody has a job you are graduates no job who is that person I want to pray for you please make sure you hear the prophetic word don't just jump out listen attentively please come out I want to pray for you who is that come Graduates, five, no job. Huh? Five boys, no work, sir. Five boys, boys yes, sir. graduates, graduates sir. No, job. no job. Where are you from? I'm from Quara State, sir. Quara State. Yes, sir. You believe in the power of God? Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Yes, sir. Listen. There's power in the name of Jesus, so don't get used to pain. Believe me, there is power in the name of Jesus. Oh, you came with your certificate? This, uh, yeah. Look at this here, sir. I, I'm, this, I'm not getting you. This is my NYC certificate, sir. Oh, this is your NYC certificate. Don't, don't worry, phone. my brother. God has located you. Now, you imagine, ladies and gentlemen, five people, graduates, and then no job because of how demonic the devil can be sitting on the destinies of people you think it is a coincidence let me use them as a point of contact to pray for someone here every spirit that has vowed that shame must remain with you in the name that is above all names as i'm praying for them i'm praying for you let that closed door be open now be open now be open now help them be open now be open now in the name of Jesus Christ hear me I declare by prophecy here supernatural jobs for you now you imagine watch this now imagine for instance this our dear brother five boys you imagine that you are the father or the mother now you've given birth to children let's assume you did not make the most with your own life you are hoping and trusting that in your lifetime that these children will become sons of consolation like the Bible will call them. Five of them, no job. 
You may be saying, Apostle, we are two. Even if you are the only one, I declare in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, hear me by prophecy, wherever your job is, in this nation or around the world, may my God locate you. May my God locate you. Mama, may my God locate your children. And for all of you who have come out for this word, I stretch my hands and I declare, the same way you have come out, that is how you will come and stand here to testify. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is someone, you have a brother who passes out. It's where we are trusting God for healing. Holy, holy, glory to the Lamb. Glory. expect a miracle right now whether is a malignant growth that is already expressing itself as cancer I want you to release your faith and this is where we pray for those who are connecting from hospitals I remain humbled that many hospitals connect our services so that their patients whether by way of phone or whatever means you are following from any hospital right now or any family or watching across the globe and you are sick in your body here's your chance to experience the healing power of Jesus I see some of you lifting the photos or maybe connecting your loved ones go ahead and release your faith lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle you can stand in for someone if it's a part of your body you cannot touch you can just make contact with your chest I want to pray for you I want to rebuke blood diseases I want to rebuke just just I want you to be sensitive the power of God is moving to heal I want to rebuke eye conditions I want to rebuke spine conditions and all kinds of cellular deformities that are destroying people right now blood conditions your hair falling, bone problems, already formations of arthritis. Half of you is beginning to get weak and heavy. You are losing sensations across several parts of your body. This is what the Lord is showing me. Losing sensations. I'm seeing others who are having severe growths across several parts of your body growths that are becoming embarrassing across several parts of your body and you're trusting God for a miracle I'm seeing a woman hold a child I think that the child does not walk this is what I'm seeing in my vision I don't know if you're watching by way of internet or maybe you're somewhere you are holding a child I'm seeing a child that I don't know whether it's, it's an epileptic child or something like that but in the name of Jesus Christ Lay your hands right now and I want to rebuke that sickness. Healing is the children's bread. In Zion, there is healing. Now here's what will happen. As I begin to rebuke that spirit, remember what I taught you? I want you to begin to do what you could not do. If you could not walk, as I begin to rebuke this sickness, I want you to begin to take steps of faith and see 
if it's possible for you to lift your limbs and to walk you could not see as I pray for you you begin to check your eyes you could not hear as I pray for you you have some kind of heaviness you couldn't move any part of your body make sure that while I pray you check yourself and the moment you find out that a miracle has happened to you begin to rejoice and celebrate with the Lord and then if I do give an opportunity we'll have very few people so that we don't prolong our stay unnecessarily we'll have a few people come so that we can have one or two people testify but let me pray now in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I stretch my hands right now father thousands of people gathered here on this ground and thousands others following from across the globe there are many right now who if you do not heal them they are going to die there are many people right now who are already at stage four maybe cancer there are many right now who are victims of blood diseases and all kinds of infirmities. But the Bible tells us that by your stripes we have been healed. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Every spirit of infirmity that is back of any disease, any sickness, I command you leave God's people now. I command you leave God's people now. I command you leave God's people now I decree and declare right now in the name of Jesus there is someone God is healing you cough out blood you cough out and you find out that you are spitting blood in the name of Jesus the power of God is touching you every blood condition here represented be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name HIV be healed in Jesus name hepatitis be healed in Jesus name leukemia be healed in Jesus name I decree and declare anyone who has any spine problem I command the power of God touches you right now in Jesus name bone conditions you could not work or you could not work well because of a problem with your bones the life and the power of Jesus touches you right now in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone severe pain you have very very severe pain at the back of your neck very severe pain the power of God is touching you right now bringing you supernatural perfection in the name of Jesus every eye condition here be healed in Jesus name anybody who could not walk in the name of Jesus I declare that strength comes to your limbs to begin to walk now in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus any part of your body you could not move I declare begin to move it now liberty of expression comes for you begin to move it now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ there is someone you had a dream and it's like they poured something on your head from that time you are not particularly sick but there is movement physical movement you keep feeling physical movement like an object is moving around your head I decree and declare right now let that demonic occurrence come to an end and for everyone you are standing for, I'm seeing several of you lifting your phones, lifting photos. In the name of Jesus right here, I'm praying that the power of God will touch those people wherever they are. For those who are connecting from any hospital, in the name of Jesus, I speak to those people. Supernatural healing and recovery happens for you now. Healing and recovery happens for you now. There's someone you came here feeling you literally could feel like a big mast around your stomach area. The moment I'm done praying, I want you to check yourself. You will find out that that demonic thing is gone. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There's someone the Lord is showing me, if I don't pray for you, you're going to lose a lot of your teeth. You have a situation, I don't know what it's called, maybe a cavity problem that is, is making maybe some kind of bacterial or fungal problem that is making your teeth to be weak and almost to, to, to rot or something like that is produced intense 
order from you and you've gone to the hospital from what I'm seeing in the name of Jesus Christ may the power of God touch you right now may the power of God touch you right now the Lord is asking me to pray for a little boy he's not a baby but he's a little boy the boy acts like someone who is autistic hyperactivity I mean he can be very hyperactive like the strength of many people I declare calmness comes for that boy right now in the name of Jesus Christ any lump and any growth in any part of your body in the name of Jesus I command those growths to disappear and hear me I don't know but I'm hearing colon cancer colon cancer in the name of Jesus if there is anybody whether here or connecting across the world whether you are aware of it or not in the name of Jesus we cause those cells they die from your body they die from your body I'm seeing someone you are unable to move your fingers you're unable to move your fingers without pain but in the name of Jesus after this prayer you'll be able to move your fingers with no pain now whether I mention your case or not I'm seeing someone's a grandmother the spirit of death wants to take that woman I'm seeing sickness a grandmother with what I'm seeing, if we don't pray, that person may not survive up to a month. A grandmother, Father, by your mercy, wherever that woman is, I declare life and healing for her right now. Life and healing for her right now. Life and healing for her right now. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is asking me to pray. I'm praying for the sick. You don't have to come out. I want to speak. Um, this is a woman you get pregnant but you are never able to pass three months and it looks like you have to lose that pregnancy no matter what happens you have to lose that pregnancy in the name of Jesus I am praying I don't know where that woman is maybe your sister your wife your auntie anyone connecting in the name that is above all names that plague of losing pregnancy comes to an end may the next pregnancy be the one that will lead to your children in the mighty name of Jesus now whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus the son of the living God be healed be healed and I did not speak about people with madness any kind of madness you see this mental health demonic thing again I command let your sanity be restored now in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Now, hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins, incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes, and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well, that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart, that no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you